Hey, it's me, Bowser Jr., and today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft animation in Blender. So, first thing you need to do is download Blender, which is in Blender.org. I'll send you a link to that in the description. I'll also send you a download for the Steve model, which I am about to show you later. And by later, I mean like now. Double click on Blender after you downloaded it. Now, this is what you should see. Just click on the side and open up the Steve file. Now let's see where is that Steve. Hmm. Do not often save all your things in one folder. It makes it extremely hard to find things. So this is the Steve model. Don't worry about the eyes because you can they actually look a lot better than than you think. So yeah. You can save like this and don't forget to save very often. I went through this mistake quite often. So don't mess up the way I did. So, in order to figure out how it'll look, click render. So this is how it looks. Steep. If you want to change the skin, all you need to do is go over here and click on replace image. Change the image to whatever skin you want. And now your character will look like that skin. There. It's that easy. And so, I'm just going to set it back to Steve. So, if you want to know how to make him move around, you need to use these weird looking things. They're called bones. So, these, these two, they control the arms. These two control the elbows. This controls the top half of the body. This controls all the body. This controls the head. And these two control the legs. I'll show you right now. You can move them around by grabbing on those arrows by holding the click, making it a lot easier. Like like this. You can make them rotate by clicking on R. Or increase or decrease the size. So yeah, that's how that part works. You can use this to make the, the character move around. Also, you can use this to make him open and close his mouth. Like that. If you want the background to look better, you can click append uh, minecraft underscore blocks dot rig which will also be included in the description objects and then click on any one of these different blocks they will then appear on the screen let me show you let's just use grass for now So, you can use the middle part of the mouse, or if you're using a, a laptop, a plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out. See? Grass. If you want to make it bigger, just click S, like I already said. Now look what you made. But you're wondering how do you, how do you make the character m move consistently and per, and f and for a finish? In order to do that, you just need to click on this. This will have it be recorded. All you need, and then you just move around whatever parts you want to move while it's being recorded. It'll then just simply 
take the pieces of the character, move it around to fit the to fit the recorded part. There. For example, I'm gonna have him wave high. So yeah. Click on any part to make that frame. There. Now it'll wave high automatically. Because you recorded that. That's how that works. If you if you feel good, change change your your format, which can be found over here, to H two six four, and click on animation, which will render absolutely every single absolutely every single clip, and turn it all into one big animation that can be uploaded to YouTube, like like the ones that I do. But uh, that takes way too long for now, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah. So, if you want to change something's color, like the eyebrows, for example, click on this colorful ball. Click on whatever body part you want to change. And then click here. You can modify the brightness and the color. For example, I can change his eyebrows to brown instead of black. Also, when you render it, you'll see whatever you recorded under rendered. See? So, you sh first you should have a certain folder just for your one animation you can create that by clicking on this and then doing this there I'm just gonna call it tutorial Because this basically is a tutorial and click accept there now you have a folder specifically for that animation then all you need to do is click render animation and then you, and then you you can open up that folder and you'll have a video file right in there you can also add animals with the minecraft underscore mobs dot rig which I also will add in the description but the animals those are basically moved around the same way you move around the Steve. So yeah, enjoy making your first animation!